Hi and welcome to Udemy in this class on light meters. My name is Don Cinetti. I'm a photographer and a designer. You may know me as WizWow in a lot of the social media places and I run a website called Lighting Essentials as well as a website called Project 52 which is for photographers who really want to up their game and get involved with uh, an assignment a week with real critiques and real, honest to God, real world assignments. So let's talk about the light meter, the modern light meter. I say that and I kind of laugh a little bit because my light meter is anything but modern. It's a Minolta 4 and I bought it 25 years ago. Still hangs around my neck on most shoots, although sometimes I don't use it as much as I used to because I've gotten very, very familiar with light uh, over 25, 30 years of doing it. One of the things I like about a light meter is its consistency. And one of the things that I hear a lot in digital realms these days where people are talking about uh, whether they should or should not use the meter is they'll say, well, just chimp it in. That, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, I've done it in, uh, in the past and we will probably do it tomorrow or the next day. We all chimp in. But one of the things that happens when people are saying just chimp it in is they've been doing it for a long time. I've been doing photography for nearly 40 years. Trust me when I say I can chimp it in pretty darn fast because I know what the values are. I know what the sunlight is in pretty much any situation. I know my ISOs upside down and backwards. I know the reciprocities. If you don't know what reciprocities are, we're going to cover that too. But one of the things that the light meters do that histograms don't is that they show you exactly the value. Where a histogram, they'll say, well, chimp it in, use the histogram. Well, a histogram will only show you the upper right wall or the lower left wall where it falls into black or falls into white, but once it falls into white, how much over that does it matter or does it take into account? And it matters a lot. A bright situation can beat the histogram. A dark situation can also beat the histogram. The light meter is never fooled. I use a Minolta 4 meter. It's a very old meter and I use it primarily for ambient light and flash. Now we will cover reflected light, ambient light, and flash in this class. And we will also talk about the light meter that's built into your camera, which is a reflected light meter. But we have to talk a little bit about the meters themselves. Many of you probably have a much more modern meter, maybe a Sekonic L358 or a Sekonic 308 um, or any other brand of meter. If you don't have the dome, this class probably isn't for you because we're really talking a lot about ambient reading and flash readings with the dome. If you're looking for uh, some information on your camera meter, probably jump ahead to that particular chapter because it'll be um, covered in there. We're not going to get into all the variations of exposure. That's a different world. We're going to talk about light meters and what they can and cannot do for you in your photography. And again, if you'd like to know more about photography in general, hit my website, lighting-essentials.com, and we do tons of stuff there on photography. So, let's talk a little bit about what light meters actually do.